Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to find the surface area of a pyramid. Surface area is when you find the separate area of the two-dimensional shapes in a three-dimensional figure and you add them together to find the total area, which is the surface area. So here we have a three-dimensional shape, which is a pyramid. And in a pyramid, there are five two-dimensional shapes. Four of them are rectangle, four of them are triangles, and one of them is a rectangle. So the base here is our rectangle. Now, a pyramid can have a base of a square as well, but in this case, our base is a rectangle. So let's go ahead and write out on the side rectangle. And then we have, since we have four triangles, we will write triangle one, triangle two, triangle three, and triangle four. Once we find the area of each of these, we will write the area down over here so at last we can add them together to find the surface area. So first let's find the area of the rectangle, which is our base. So we are given the dimensions of 6 inches for the length and 4 inches for the width. So the formula for finding the area of a rectangle, so for a rectangle, the area is length times width. Here, the length is given as 6 inches and the width is given as 4 inches. 6 times 4 is 24 inches. And it will be squared since we're finding the area. So we have the area of the rectangle, so we can write that down as 24 inches squared. Next, we have to find the area of the triangles. So here, we have two triangles on the sides and then two triangles on the front and the back. So the triangles on the sides have the same dimensions and the triangles on the front and back have the same dimensions. So let me show you what I mean. So these are the triangles on the sides. I will highlight them or un put a small pink line on top of the white to show which triangles I'm talking about. So it's this triangle and that triangle over there. So both of these have a base of 4 inches. So now we need to find the height. The height, let's say, is given as, so height goes down directly from the top to the bottom because height has to be straight. And so let me just draw an arrow to show what the height is equal to. So let's say that the height is equal to 7 inches. So we know that the formula for finding the area of a triangle is 1 half times base times height. So let's write that down for triangle 1 and also triangle 2. So area for a triangle is 1 half times base times height. So we'll do 1 half times the base, which is 4 inches, times height, which is 7 inches. 1 half times 4 times 7, so if you multiply 4 times 7, we get 28. 1 half times 28 is the same thing as 28 divided by 2, which is 14 inches squared. Now since it's the same dimensions for triangle 1 and triangle 2, both of these are equal to 14 inches squared. So 14 plus 14 would give us 28, but let's write them down separately for now. So 14 inches squared and 14 inches squared. Now let's find the dimensions for triangles 3 and 4 and find the area of each of these. So let's outline those in blue. Here, let me make the line a little bit thicker. So this is the triangle that's up front and the triangle in the back. Okay, so here we are given the length, the base is six inches. So write that to the side. So triangle three and triangle four. The area is still, the formula is the same. So one half times base times height. So we have one half times the base, which is six inches times the height which let's say that the height for this one is going to be the same because it's the same pyramid it goes at the same height so just seven inches so this height is also equal to seven inches 
So it would be 1 half times 42 because 6 times 7 is 42. And 1 half times 42 is the same thing as 42 divided by 2, which gives us 21 inches squared. So triangle 3 and triangle 4 each have an area of 21 inches squared. All right, now that we have our areas for each of the two-dimensional figures in this three-dimensional pyramid, let's go ahead and add them together to find the total area. So we have 24 inches squared plus 14 inches squared plus 14 inches squared plus 21 inches squared and 21 inches squared, which give us 94 inches squared in total. So the surface area of this pyramid is 94 inches squared. So let's write that down. Surface area is equal to 94 inches squared. All right. So this is how you find the area surface area of a pyramid. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down in the comments below. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.